What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Darian, the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. I love looking good and smelling great. I want to bring you guys a video tonight about some great fragrances that you guys can find for under the price point of $50. That's right. Don't adjust your TV. Don't adjust your phone. We're talking about fragrances that you can get for under the price of $50. Now, before I get started, I want to make sure I say that I hope that everyone is being safe uh, during this time that you are uh, abiding by uh, whatever what government is saying by keeping yourself distanced away from people as much as you can and staying safe from this uh, virus that's going around. Uh, I pray that you guys, again, all be safe and in good health. So follow directions and do the things that you're supposed to do and that you need to do to keep you and your family safe during these trying times. My prayers are with each and every one of you and your families. Okay, as we always do now on this channel, I wanna go ahead and do my uh, subscriber spotlight for my last video. Um, <clears throat> the way that I'm going to have to shoot videos uh, for the next couple of weeks, I may have to choose uh, more than one comment from the same video. It just depends on how uh, things run. But from my last video, uh, one of the comments that I chose was from Montreal Wheaton. And Montreal wrote, uh, My guy, keep putting them on game. I own all these except Carbon, too similar to Savage. I love why EDT, even though Fragcom hypes EDP the most. Keep that great content coming. Montel, thank you so much for your comment on the video. Uh, one thing that you said that's interesting to me is uh, the fact that the Fragcom hypes the EDP. Um, I don't know if you noticed or not about me, if you noticed know yet about me or not, but I don't follow the hype. I mean, if I like a fragrance, I like it. You know, if it's hyped or not. You know, so sometimes people feel like you know, somebody may be getting on the hype train, but you know, my like or dislike for a fragrance has nothing to do with it. I could care less, honestly. If I like the fragrance, then I'm gonna rock it. If I like it enough, I'm gonna talk about it on my channel. So, the Y EDT, I like much better than the EDP. I tried the EDP, but it was a little bit too sweet, a little bit too floral, it wasn't for me. I mean, it's not a bad fragrance, but I prefer the EDT, so that's why I chose it. Um, and that's why I purchased that one. But, as I always say, Montel, because you're not here, man, the homie, you're not here with me, so, Let's go ahead and take two sprays in the air. Ah, oh, that's some good stuff. But Montel, that was for you. And now that we've gotten a subscriber spotlight out of the way for this video, let's go ahead and jump right into 10 great fragrances that you can get for under $50. So if you wanna know what 10 fragrances are that I have in my collection that I love that are under $50, you already know how we do. Keep it locked right here. Okay guys, I'm back. Thank you so much for staying tuned in. We're gonna go ahead and jump right into the list. These are in no particular order. These are just 10 great fragrances that you can find for under 50 bucks. Starting with number one, from the House of Versace. This is one of the best grab and go fragrances in my collection. This is none other than Dylan Blue. This fragrance, depending on where you look, you get a lot of people that like it and you get a lot of people that dislike it. I myself, fall in the former. I love this stuff. This is something that, again, works really, really well for uh, just about any occasion, honestly, any season. This is one of those signature scents. It's signature scent worthy. Um, I could see uh, where some people say this could be for a younger crowd, but um, you could just be like me and be young at heart as well. <laughs> and this fragrance worked for you. But again, what I like about it is uh, this is Versace's version of um, you know, the blue craze that was going on, the savages and things of that nature. But I really enjoy it. I remember when I first smelled it, I said to myself, I gotta get this one. You know, this is something that's good for casual situations. <clears throat> I always say going to the gym and things of that nature. So this is one again that you can get for under 50 bucks. This is Versace Dylan Blue. I just reached into the box and grabbed the fragrance and it happened to be another Versace fragrance and this one is a classic. This is Versace's The Dreamer. This fragrance is so fresh and clean. It, in my humble opinion, brings new meaning to the word when people describe a fragrance as being soapy because this smells like Irish Springs. <laughs> That's exactly what this smells like. But the crazy thing about it, it's a tobacco-based fragrance. But 
you know, I get some tobacco, but it's not like a like a one of those strong uh, tobacco fragrances that you would typically wear in the colder months. This is one again that you can really rock pretty much year round. Again, it's very very soapy, very clean, and very fresh. Again, a classic in the fragrance community that, of course, you can get for under fifty dollars. This is Versace's The Dreamer. Oh man, the next fragrance on the list. I'm not even sure what house this is, but <laughs> nevertheless, this fragrance is one that I found in the bargain bins at Marshall's. This is Tuscany Per Uomo. Tuscany Per Uomo. This is for the guys out there that want a nice fragrance, definitely under 50 bucks because I got this one for probably $19, again, from the bargain bins, but this one is really, really good. It's a citrus-based fragrance, but it has a very traditional uh, quality to it and I really like it um, again if you're looking for a fragrance if you're a guy that likes those more traditional type fragrances this is a nice citrus based fragrance with some kick to it you know again very masculine very classic right here this is Tuscany per Uomo fragrance on my list is one that I've talked about a lot actually in a lot of my more recent videos uh, again just such an underrated gem to me in my collection I will always have a bottle of this stuff. Um, spoiler alert, if I can only have 10 fragrances for the rest of my life, this would probably make the cut. This is from the house of Burberry, and this is Burberry Touch. Again, I've talked a lot about this one on uh, some of my more recent videos, so I'm not really gonna go into a lot about it, but again, one that you can get for under $50, and one that I personally highly recommend that you get. If you never tried it, I recommend you put your nose on it. It's a spicy floral fragrance. From the house of Burberry, this is Burberry Touch. The next fragrance on the list is from the house of Bulgari, and this is Bulgari Man in Black. A spicy fragrance right here. This is the fragrance that I would recommend under $50, that I would recommend for formal occasions. If you want a great uh, fragrance that you can wear when you're dressed up, and this is black tie approved in my humble opinion, this is one that you want to look at. You get a lot with this one. Oh man, it's just so spicy, man. But at the same time, it has a little bit of tonka bean in it on the base and some wood. Highly recommend this one from the house of Bulgari. This is Bulgari Man in Black. The next fragrance on my list is one of my most complimented fragrances in my entire collection, designer or niche. Um, you've heard me say that before. This is the best, in my humble opinion, or one of the best, uh, of vintage clones out there on the market still today. This is from the house of Armaf. This is Club de Nuit Intense Man. And again, to really simplify this and not to go into a lot about it because you guys, I'm pretty sure by now you've heard a lot about this fragrance, but it smells a lot like Creed Aventus. Uh, not as authentic smelling. It definitely some th synthetics in it, especially on the opening, but man, it's a very uh, highly complimented fragrance. It gets a lot of people's attention. Honestly, I think this gets more compliments than Aventus, and I've said that before, but again, it's one that you can get for under $30, man. So, <laughs> guys, if you don't have this one in your collection by now, um, if you never put your nose on Aventus and, it's, and you're curious about it, I would highly recommend Club de Nui Intense Man from the House of Armaf. Man, this next fragrance is one of the fragrances that really got me um, into uh, collecting because I was looking for uh, an alternate fragrance or a different fragrance that would put me in the mindset of Creed's original Santal. And I ran across a review on this one and that kind of opened up my mind to it. So the next fragrance on the list comes from the house of Mont Blanc and this is Individuel. About three years ago, this was a fragrance that was talked about all the time. It seemed like everybody was talking about Mont Blanc Individuel, but the hype has since, of course, uh, subsided. But if you can look at this bottle, you can see that I still rock it and I love it. Anybody that's been following me from the earlier days knows that I'm a big fan of Creed's Original Santal. It's just a place that has a special place in my heart. And um, if you like Original Santal, of course you'll love Mont Blanc Individuel and you'll especially love it because you can get this for under $30. So this is one again that I highly recommend from the house of Mont Blanc. This is Individuel. Next fragrance on my list comes from the house of John Barbados. This is such 
and underrated fragrance. I know uh, my boy Jay Copeland, shout out to Jay Copeland, loves this fragrance a lot from the house of John Barbados. This is vintage. I absolutely adore the cinnamon note. This has a cinnamon note in it that I really, 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 really enjoy and adore. Uh, the hit on John Bar the hit on John Barbados fragrances is that they don't really perform that well. I would have to agree with that. But at a price point of under 50 bucks for a fragrance that smells this good, you can't really go wrong with just having to maybe take it with you and reapply. Um, I think it's well worth every penny that you would pay for this one. Again, I love this stuff, man. It's so, it's such a rich and, um, you know, kind of masculine uh, fragrance that you get with this one, man. Again, definitely, uh, like I said, worth the $50. It's a quality fragrance. Although, again, it lacks a little bit in performance, but uh, what it lacks in performance, it definitely makes up uh, for it in the overall scent profile and the DNA of this fragrance. I love this stuff from the house of John Barbados. This is vintage. Okay, guys, we are down to the final two fragrances. The next fragrance on my list comes from the house of Perry Ellis. Yep, you heard that right, Perry Ellis. This is the Aquadigio clone. This is Perry Ellis 360 Red. Man, this is, of course, the best clone of Aquadigio. Uh, Aquadigio is a fragrance that I wore a lot uh, in high school. Um, again, a very highly complimented fragrance. Actually, one of the best selling men fragrances of all time. Aquadigio, the original. And this smells a lot like it, man. And you can get this one for under $20. So, this is one, again, I highly recommend. Easy grab and go Aqua DGO clone from the house of Perry Ellis. This is 360 Red. And last but not least, this fragrance is from the house of Thallium Paris, and the fragrance is Thallium. And as you can see, there is not a whole lot left in this bottle. I mean, it's a very small corner over here that's left. Uh, be quite honest with you, that has not all been used on spraying on my body. Uh, my family and I use this as a uh, air freshener as well. <laughs> so uh, we ran through the whole bottle, but it's a great fragrance. Um, I heard Coach Rob uh, 619 talk about this fragrance a long time ago. I think he said he was at a at a, uh, a party or a club or something like that and went to the bathroom. Kind of a, uh, a upscale event that he was at and they actually had this fragrance in the bathroom he sprayed it and as soon as he walked back his girlfriend was like hey what are you wearing so uh that um made me look into it and i haven't been disappointed it's a sweet fragrance it can be a little bit cloying uh so be careful on the trigger but guys you can get this one for under 15 dollars, man and i'm telling you if you don't mind uh, you know those kind of sweet fragrances um if you think about the uh invictuses of the world uh, this may kind of put you in that mindset to some degree, but again, for under $15, I'm telling you right now, you can't beat this stuff. This is Allium Paris. You guys, that's my time. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. As I always say, you guys could have been anywhere else in the world, but you're right here with me, your boy, the Bowtie Fragrance Guy, and I sincerely appreciate that. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share these videos out, man, to other people that you think could use this information or find me entertaining or of course as I always say find me strikingly handsome <laughs> uh, yeah so share these videos out man subscribe to the channel because as I always say I will catch you guys on the flip side peace